Here are the latest price updates for the SafeMoon Swap Partners. This is for July 28th, 2022. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. First up is SafeMoon. We can see SafeMoon has had two green candle days in a row. It is further continuing up at a 24 hour time frame. It is up 1.94% with a volume of $230,000. Up next is Pinu. I think that's how you say this. This is the newest SafeMoon swap partner. We could see a decline going on for the day. Had a green day yesterday for its launch, but taking a bit of a hit here for today. With a volume of $70,000, it is down 32.66% in the last 24 hours, with a market cap of $1.6 million. Then moving on to MFX, this is another project that had just recently gotten listed with SafeMoon Swap. We could see that it had a red day yesterday, essentially breaking neutral, but today a further decline, still technically up above from what it had of its initial launch back on July 26th. It is down 14.37% in comparison to 24 hours ago with a volume of $37,000. Moving on to Shinja, we can see Shinja had a green day yesterday, a further green day climb today, showing a bit of a consolidated space taking place primarily back to around uh, essentially starting at the end of July 15th pushing all the way to where we are right now. So it is up 6.78% in comparison to 24 hours ago with $850 worth of trading volume. Then Glow V2, seeing an even higher push climb, looking quite good. It is up 8.06% in the last 24 hours with $3,100 worth of trading volume taking place. Green day yesterday, green day today, and volume also looking like it's climbed up even further, looking quite good there. Then moving on to sale. With sale, had a green day yesterday, a further climb up today. It is up 2.92% in the last 24 hours with $620 worth of trading volume. Up next is Enhance. Enhance had a substantial amount of volume going on yesterday in comparison to the three days prior to that. As far as for today, very, very quiet, very low, less than $1,000 in activity, but it is up. It is up actually 6.7% compared to 24 hours ago. So less than $1,000, $970 in trading volume. Evergrow Coin continuing to see a rally. It has now two days closed out in the green, likely to close out a third day. This is $12,000 worth of trading volume. It is up 2.27% over the last 24 hours. Looking quite good there. Then moving on to Affinity. Affinity with $2,300 worth of trading volume. It has gone up 4.01% compared to 24 hours ago. Two days of green, previous days, third day going on right now, with a little bit of an uptick on that of volume in comparison to yesterday. Moving on to Crypt Cards. Crypt Cards continuing to see a nice little push. It is up one, uh, sorry, it is up 3.21% over the last 24 hours with $1,700 in volume. So looking to be three days in a row of green. Now, Speaking of green, also we have Grove Token. Grove Token had a bit of a sell-off pressure here going on for four days. Broke just slightly in the green as of yesterday, but it is showing signs of a further climb back up. There's some other details with Grove Token I have in a separate video I uploaded today. So if you, if you want to find out some of the latest things that's going on with Grove Token, be sure to check out that video. This is up 27.98% over the last 24 hours with a volume of $300,000. So looking very, very good right there. Moving on to Pothereum. They are also up 5.6% over the last 24 hours, $380 worth of trading volume. And the previous day closing out in the green today so far, looking also in the green. Reflex Finance is still seeing a little bit more selling pressure going on here. Had three days in a row of red, just Keep in mind that volume is pretty low in comparison to days we saw back, for example, here on July 16th and July 17th, even the 18th and 19th. So with that being said, of the actions that are going on, it's a little bit more of the selling pressure side, but it was pretty neutral on July 26th, not much of a decline here on July 25th. Taking that hit today, it's $10,000 worth of trading volume. It's down 12.16% over the last 24 hours. Market cap is at $9.3 million. Then moving on to Empire. Empire had a green candle as of yesterday, looking green on the day so far today. 
very, very, very low. I don't know if I've actually seen less than this, but this is definitely competing on that level. It's only $12 dollars of trading volume over the last 24 hours down 0.34 percent then moving on to docs oh well okay i guess this probably is the record it actually says less than one dollar um so yeah we can see here july 28th there was a sell for eight cents it is technically less than a dollar and is more than zero dollars. So yeah, no price percentage move over 24 hours with that. It says it's at 8917 on the price charts. Um, ironically, it shows a green candle as a reflection of activity though. And so three days of red candles, substantial volume the previous day. As far as for the today, basically nothing. Moving on to Immortal. Immortal had a green candle as of yesterday, $440 worth of trading volume. And at 2.38% of an increase compared to 24 hours ago. Then moving on to Rhythm. Rhythm having a very nice, well, Rhythm. It is continuing to climb up, having a significant push rally since that of June 20th. Another green candle here is looking very close to breaking above a zero. This is $430 worth of trading volume, and it is up 3.12% over the last 24 hours. And last but not least is Live Crypto Party. Live Crypto Party had a red candle yesterday, further decline today. Looks like it's trying to essentially cancel out the nice run that took place back on July 26th. It is down 16.16% over the last 24 hours with $11,000 worth of trading volume. That is what I have for you guys on the latest price moves for this. If you'd like to continue seeing these in future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And also thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to Valmir Brockovich. We love SafeMoon.com. Murad Shaker, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Odds for being higher level patrons. I really appreciate your guys' support. There is a link in the description to my Patreon. You can do that for as little as a dollar if you guys would like to go show your support there. And also thank you to my YouTube members. You can click join down below this video if you'd like to show your support there. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please go do your own research. Thank you guys. God bless. Like cryptocurrencies, your DNA is made up of data. And with Self Decode, you can discover more about your personal health. Self Decode can help you improve your mood, optimize your health, balance your gut, improve heart health, reduce stress, reduce inflammation, optimize your cognition, and improve brain health. Their process is very easy. Simply register at the website, read the instruction manual and collect your DNA sample, place the sample into the specimen bag, put the entire box in the return envelope, mail the return envelope back to them, and then wait six to eight weeks for your results. Their website is easy to use, easy to understand, and as someone personally who sits down a lot throughout the course of the day, having resources that are more geared specifically to me that I can optimize my health, oh, it's a huge game changer. You invest into other things and there's no greater investment than yourself. So get started with self-decode. Check out the link in the description.